More fallout tonight after the death of a two year old Chicago boy tragically beaten to death while under the watch of the Department of Children and Family Services. Today, we're talking to the people watching DCFS. CBS News' Megan Hickey is always investigating. She joins us now live from the Thompson Center. Megan. Erica, several stakeholders agree that in recent years, DCFS has been violating the terms of a court-ordered consent decree that was supposed to bring caseloads down and protect kids like the two-year-old who lost his life last week. It's been 31 years since Ben Wolf brought a class action lawsuit against the Illinois DCFS that led to the consent decree mandating lower caseloads for investigators and increased reporting requirements. It's been a long battle. That he's still fighting, and he says things have gotten considerably worse since the Blagojevich administration when corruption allegations plagued the state agency. As recently as two weeks ago, the ACLU, which monitors the consent decree, was testifying before state legislators for help. Not only was the department broken and chaotic, but it stopped sharing basic information with us. Which is why news of the tragic death of two-year-old Jahir Gibbons last week was sadly less than surprising. That includes the admission that Jahir's private agency contracted caseworker may have lied on visit records about actually checking on the boy in the days leading up to his death. One of the things that happens when a system is broken and people are overwhelmed is there's an incentive to start being deceitful so you can meet the requirements of the job, but that's just wrong. AFSCME Council 31 can also attest to the agency's failure to meet caseload levels of 12 new investigations per month set in the consent decree. Their members include a range of frontline employees with DCFS. Up until a couple of years ago, uh, it was not uncommon for investigators to be assigned 15 or even 20 cases per month, and that just makes it too risky that a child will slip through the cracks. Anders Lindahl says it's gotten better, but Cook County is still short about 30 investigators and the state is short more than 100. They're supportive of Governor J.B. Pritzker's proposal to add 126 caseworkers to his 2020 budget. Now, the union would also like DCFS to reconsider outsourcing caseworks caseworkers from private agencies like the one in Jahir's case. DCFS did not respond to our request for comment. Live in the Loop, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.